that's coming at you. Um, we're going to talk today a little bit about advertising accounts on Facebook. Um, kind of putting the horse a little bit before the carriage today, but I'm sorry, the carriage before the horse a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and this is because this is a problem that I recently, in the last couple of uh, weeks really, I have, I've been dealing with. And um, I am now going to show you behind the scenes of what transpired with these ads of how much I spent um, on advertising uh, a couple of different things and just to give you an, an idea of um, what it takes sometimes to really make things happen so let's go back to 1st of May to 26 update alright so between these two accounts it's almost fifteen thousand dollars I spent on advertising. Um, this brought back in a return, uh, just over a total of almost twenty thousand dollars. Okay, um, and this is from the first of May until today, twenty six June. Um, these accounts actually got flagged on Facebook for um, they turn off the payment method, so I can't pay these bills anymore to use these accounts. So I'm working with Facebook to re get these bills reactivated these uh, payment methods reactivated because um, Facebook has a security measure to um, disable your payment method so when you're trying to pay your bill see how it says payment method declined my credit card was maxed uh, I had to pay pay my bill off so I can go ahead and make the next payment um, but it uh, now when I click on add new payment method it does not allow me to add a payment since payments disabled we temporarily temporarily disabled your Facebook payments please contact us to turn it back on so they're gonna give you a little form that you gotta fill out and we'll go through this form real quick um, and just so you guys can see y'all go back we'll go on this account lifetime you can see what I spent over the lifetime so on this one seven thousand three hundred sixty eight dollars uh, on this uh, account um, this one campaign alone brought in 40 sales at a product that was around thirty dollars. So if you do the math on that, you can see what that what that is uh, about. And this one campaign was three thousand dollars. Okay, this one campaign alone was three thousand dollars. So this is a couple of different things I was promoting. I guess I this is a winning campaign that I was running. Um, this campaign was for uh, my music. I spent fourteen hundred and twenty dollars uh, building that up. Got one point two million engagements. Um, on that, which is pretty cool. We'll, we'll talk about that in, a, in another video because that's some stuff I want to share with you guys on how to um, get exposure. We're going to talk about that. Okay, I'm gonna, you guys are going to see how I'm building up my, my band, my music brand, and uh, I'm going to share that with you in other videos. Uh, this is mainly just to show you how to get your accounts reactivated after they've been deactivated. Um, one thing to note, if Facebook ever flags your account for policy violations, it's going to have a... Um, a notice here if it's for policy violations nine times out of ten they're not going to turn your account back on you have to get a new ad account and I'll show you how to there's millions of different ways don't freak out don't get married to it um, it's not as easy as just opening a new Facebook account especially now since all of this issue that Facebook had with privacy data and all that kind of stuff recently came up so it's gonna be a little more challenging but we'll walk I'll walk you through the steps and as long as you follow these guidelines you should be able to be successful and avoid these pitfalls but I'm sharing this with you because this is challenges that I've had so let's go to that form and this is the form right here disable payments and ads manager um, and we'll just go through it step by step if you believe your ad ha account has been disabled by mistake please provide us more information so we can investigate this issue is this your ad account always yes advertise our ad account choose the ad account that you want right you're gonna have one probably or two and we'll talk about that in um, a little more in, in other videos. Uh, the, the type of payment method, PayPal, uh, Facebook does accept PayPal because PayPal was one of Facebook's first uh, founding investors. Peter Thiel gave uh, Mark Zuckerberg half a million dollars to start Facebook. So um, that's why they accept, that's one of the reasons why they accept PayPal. Uh, credit card, if you're either or, you can, if, or if you're using both for payments, you can check both boxes. Uh, I'm gonna go with credit card because uh, that's what I use. Uh, are you the owner of the financial instrument on file? Always yes. Who's the owner of the financial instrument on file? Very redundant, but always say me, yes. Owner's first and last name. It's always going to be your first and last name. Okay. It's always going to be yours. Owner's email address. Always use the email address that is associated with the 
Facebook account that you're signed into. Okay. Briefly dis describe why you're using their payment method. Isn't that retarded for them to ask that th a third time about that question? So um, I just say I'm using my own. Have you tried to purchase ads from Facebook? Yes. Please provide a brief explanation of your current ad campaign. I am building up. To take, you might want to take notes on this because this is what I tell them this always works. I'm building up fans on my fan page to drive traffic to my e-commerce store. Period. That's it. That's all you need to put in that block. You can, you know, elaborate on it some more if you want, but that's all I ever put on there, and that's uh, that usually works. Have you ever noticed? Have you noticed any irregular spend? Nope. Is the current location different from the billing country? No. Your current location, if you're whatever country you're in, I'm in the United States, so it's going to be United States. Billing your payment billing method country, I'm in the United States, so always make sure those two match. If you're using PayPal, it shouldn't be a problem. It's a credit card, same deal. Just make sure that they match. If these countries are different, please explain why. They are both the same. And then they need a um, uh, an ID of some kind. I use, usually use my passport. I, up, I upload my passport on here. And boom, I send that request in. And that's it. That's how you put your disable ad account request into Facebook. And you give them a day or two, and usually they were they 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 take a few hours, honestly, sometimes to respond. Depending on what's going on, they might respond within a few minutes and actually turn your your uh, your payment payment manager back on. Sometimes it takes a few days. Sometimes they never respond. So always remember that you got to come back and do this, okay, on your accounts. Now the thing I want you to I want you to remember also is you're the boss, okay? You're your own CEO. So this is something that you have to take control of every day. This has to be something on your list of priorities is getting in to your ads and looking at your ads every day. I've been running ads on Facebook since 2009. When I, that's when I first started running ads on Facebook. Um, I've, been, I've been running ads on Facebook for Shopify. August, September 11th will be three years since I've been primarily running ads for Shopify. Um, I've run ads for a, a host of different businesses, different ideas, different things, um, and I hope to share some of these things that I've learned with you guys in this group. I know this is mainly about e-commerce, but I hope to actually be able to, to explain to you how you can take this advertising information and shift it to anything that you want to do and allow you to be able to you know, have control of your income, grow a successful business, take your an idea and take your idea and actually have your idea making you money without having to go and slave working for, you know, an hourly wage. So thanks for watching. I hope this really helps. If you guys know anybody that wants to learn how to do Shopify, we're already at max for our beta testers for, for this group, meaning anybody else that wants to join this group, they're going to have to go through a sales page. Um, there's going to be a, an entry ticket. It's going to be very low, uh, mainly for a monthly um, a subscription really really low because I want student I want anybody to join to really pay attention to the information and if sometimes you get people information for free and they don't really pay it any attention so if they pay if they, if they pay for it um, I I think they're gonna they're gonna better focus on the information and it allows me to be able to do more for the group you know uh, host live events because I'm gonna be putting this funds towards Running a hotel room, you know, help helping members to come and meet with people in person to help them grow their accounts, help people advertising. It's kind of like start a fund to really help people that are in a, that really want to learn this and break through to be able to do that. So uh, we can all help each other grow. I'm willing to teach this stuff, uh, and anybody that's that's really struggling that wants to learn that wants to take control, don't be shy. You know what I mean? I've I've invested in my education quite a bit.